Welcome to the STARS program, seniors taking active roles in society. And now, here's your host, Anita Finley. I have someone that you've heard before. She's probably one of your favorite radio talk show hosts. Uh, It's Nicole Crane. And uh, Nicole is director of nutrition at Invite Vitamins. I love the name Invite. They invite you to come in and get healthy. So welcome to the show, Nicole. Thank you so much for having me on. Actually, Invite stands for integrating vitamins into your life, and that's what we do. We make it easy and and, uh, accessible to add a supplement that is going to give you really good benefits because that's we're all about the research and all about giving you one really good choice. So we don't give you hundreds of different options. Uh, We make one or two or three really good versions of whatever that nutrient is. I know because I've been buying a lot of things there. And I mean, I've always felt good, but I'm sure there are things inside you that they were maybe crying out and they didn't cry out loud enough to me. So I didn't know, but I'm glad I'm taking them. And of course, I've always talked about my dog taking her vitamins. And so we're, we're a happy camper group. Um, but uh, let's, <laughs> let's talk, though, about the uh, making a splash this summer with Invite Health Tinctures. Most people don't know what tinctures are. Mm-hmm. The tinctures are liquid extracts of herbs, and we take the dry herb and, and we turn it into a liquid extract. And we don't use sugar, so there's no sugar and there's no alcohol in any of our tinctures. They're all decaffeinated, including the green tea and the white tea. So we make, uh, it's sort of funny how they cycle. We used to make quite a few, and we've really gotten it down to the ones that we like to specialize in. So we have a white tea extract and a green tea extract. The green tea extract is actually certified organic and kosher. Uh, We do something called blue granite, which is blueberries and pomegranate, great for circulation. We do the tranquil, which is my favorite, because that one is chamomile and lemon balm and a wonderful herb called passionflower. Great for calming down the mind and great for relaxing, great for for anxiety and, and those anxious kind of feelings. And uh, we do oregano, which is a, the herb oregano, very powerful antimicrobial. So the oregano extract is very, very strong. You only need a couple of drops as opposed to the whole drop or foam. But the oregano is great for traveling. The oregano is great for things like food poisoning and colds and flus. Any Anytime there's, there's an infection in the body, the oregano really shines. And for building long-term immunity, we do a wonderful Chinese herb called astragalus. And astragalus is something that activates our natural killer cells. And it's great for respiratory health. It's great for for any time stress causes somebody to catch a cold or a flu. So we, we do a really wonderful line of these liquid extracts. And they are. They're buy one, get one free. Um, and and it's it's the same. So if you buy one green tea, you get a second green tea for for no charge. Well, I and, have a question. Uh, oh wait, wait, wait! I have a so question smart. about this. So, how many can I take a day? Each different one? Uh, I suppose. I mean, I find that most people don't need to do the green tea and the white tea. So we do the we do both the green tea and a white tea. They come from the same plant. They both come from the tea plant, but the white tea gets picked earlier. So the white tea has a different assortment of antioxidants. It doesn't have the EGCG, um, which is a catechin, which is a very special antioxidant. It has a different component of catechins. It has a different grouping. Um, And I find that the white tea is actually better for skin. So white tea does some amazing things for skin health in that it prevents the breaking down of the collagen and the elastin in our skin. So white tea is really wonderful for warding off the damage that we get from the sun and can slow down wrinkling of the skin, which I think a lot of people are are interested in. And the white tea seems to be a bit more powerful at strengthening the immune system because both the green tea and the white tea have some really cool antiviral properties. The white tea seems to be a little bit stronger just because it's younger. Um, You know, the, the white tea is a bit more powerful. And then I think of the green tea more as an organ supporter, so it helps the breast tissue and the prostate tissue, and it and it keeps our memory young, and it keeps our circulation supported. Uh, but I don't think everybody would need to take every single one. You certainly could. I don't think there's any harm in, in combining all of them, but I think it is addressing individual needs. If somebody has stress and that's their predominant concern, they would go for the tranquil. If somebody is looking for antioxidants and vascular support, 
um, they would go for the blue granite. If somebody's looking to strengthen their immunity, they'd go for either the white tea or the astragalus. But there is definitely something for somebody, um, something for everybody out there when it comes to our tincture line. So what does it taste like? Uh, they all have different flavors. Uh, the, the green tea is is um, a bit stronger tasting than the white tea. I actually prefer the white tea. The white tea tastes like, and it's so hard to describe flavors, like what does a pear taste like to you? <laughs> but the, the white tea tastes a lot like your standard cup of tea. Uh, the blue granite is probably the most flavorful because it tastes like blueberries and pomegranates because that's what it is. It's a whole blueberry extract and a whole pomegranate extract. Um, the the tranquil has an herby flavor. It, it tastes like chamomile, a little lemony from the lemon balm. Passion flower doesn't really have um, a strong flavor, uh, but they're they're glycerin sweetened, and glycerin is is an, a vegetable extract that tastes very sweet that doesn't raise your blood sugar. Or we use uh, stevia, or we use agave. So we're not using any sugar, and we're not using any alcohol. It's very uh, sort of an old practice for these liquid extracts, these tinctures, to be alcohol-based. But that doesn't work for a lot of people, and that certainly doesn't work for kids or, or for pets. But, I mean, I wouldn't go out and give your, your dog a lot of these tinctures. But a lot of people are looking to get away from the alcohol. But by making them glycerin-based, not only do they taste good, but they're going to be absorbed really well through the lining of our stomach which is one of the other benefits, is that all of these nutrients are very easy to take and very well absorbed. So in other words, there are capsules and pills that have the same effect, or maybe not the same effect. What What is the? This sounds like it's a lot more powerful as a tincture. Very often they can be, and that's about absorption. So for people that don't digest well, people that don't like to take pills, people who don't take their supplements because they dread taking a pill, would benefit from from the liquid extracts or even people who have anxiety and you get anxiety over taking a pill and you can't take a pill for anxiety because you get anxiety taking the pill <laughs> you know this, this, the I, circle, I had somebody right? tell me that story the other day <laughs> but tranquil is great for that so yes we do have a stress formula and we do have the green tea in capsule and we do the blue granite in capsule but i i think it's it's a sort of a fun way and then you just take a dropper full or two and a little bit of water and you drink it down. So it's, it's a, a bit more, uh, it fits into people's lifestyles a bit better. And for people that take pills, great. I've got 250 more products for you. But for people <laughs> that don't do well swallowing a pill, you have options. You have options to help you relax. You have options to support your skin and your immunity and your circulation. So it is, it's, it, we take the things that are most important to people, benefiting their memory, giving them antioxidants to keep them young, giving them things that support their skin health and, and their immune health, and, and we, we make those in liquid extracts. So as now that I'm taking, you, you've gotten me taking a probiotic, mm -hmm. these are not probiotics. What I'm no, taking, they're not probiotics, okay. uh, but if somebody has contracted a bad bacteria and they're dealing with a lot of... Uh, a lot of issues that, that affect their digestion, sometimes you do need to kill off the bad bacteria first. If somebody has a serious infection like C. difficile or H. pylori, which are really bad, nasty bugs, you can use the oregano to get rid of, of that, that bad bug, and then you use the probiotics, which are the beneficial bacteria that occupy our whole digestive system to put the good guys back in. So our guts really are a battle of good and evil in our GI tract. And the probiotics are the superhero good guys. And all of the microbes that we come in contact with, the staph infections and the E. coli and all of the thousands of bad bacteria that are out there that are looking for a good warm host are going to be kept out by probiotics. But they, they really are so far reaching. So if, if somebody is looking to take one supplement, most people would think I'd say, oh, take your multivitamin. I think a probiotic for most people is going to be more important. Isn't that amazing? So they, they really are. They, we have this beautiful symbiotic relationship with probiotics where they actually outnumber our body cells 10 to 1. So every cell that is genetically you, there's 10 more cells that are, and they're much smaller, but there's 10 more cells that are, are good bacteria. And they influence our brain chemistry, which is why they can be so far-reaching. 
they influence our inflammation responses. They certainly affect our immunity. So when you hear that 70 to 80 percent of your immune system is located in your GI tract, they're talking about probiotics. And not only do they keep out the bad bacteria, but they also activate a lot of our immune cells. But they, they do. The, the research that's being done on some of the far-reaching non-digestive aspects of probiotics is really fascinating. So we, we know that probiotics are a great influence over our GI tract health. Uh, But we know that they're even more powerful when it comes to our brain chemistry Mm. and our anxiety and our mood and and even some of the the more uh, mental disorders like ADHD and even potentially autism and schizophrenia. So a lot of our our, um, brain chemicals, our serotonin and our dopamine, which are feel-good, positive mood brain chemicals, are made in our GI tract. Almost all of our serotonin are made by our gut cells. And if they don't have probiotics to influence them to be positive and to influence their healthy production, we don't make enough. And every time we eat sugar, we deplete our serotonin. Every time we drink alcohol, we deplete our serotonin. And serotonin affects a lot more than our mood and our sleep. It affects our appetite and it affects our aggression level and it even affects our reasoning skills. So there's a lot to be said for the influence of these good probiotics on our brain. There's it, actually a really fascinating book called Second Brain that was written all about the influence of probiotics on on our brain. And there's an, an even, not better, but different book called The GAPS Diet, and that stands for Gut and Psychological Syndrome, all about the microbiome of our gut and the influence of good bacteria and the influence of bad bacteria on our mental state. So they really are very, very far-reaching. So I want to ask you about probiotics. It's not something that I think we heard about 30 years ago. I mean, is this a new idea? Uh, it, it is. I guess in, in the world of supplementation, it is a little bit new. But 30 years ago and 50 years ago, we didn't use antibiotics the way that we do now. We weren't feeding all of our animals, all of our chickens and our pigs and our cows. They didn't get the massive doses of antibiotics that they get now. So we use, we use about 70 million pounds of antibiotics of humans, but that's only 30%. That's only less than a third of all of the antibiotics that are used. We use millions and millions and millions of pounds, not dosages, but pounds of antibiotics on our feed animals. And because they take a daily antibiotic, when we eat that meat, we end up taking a daily antibiotic. And it wipes out our good guys. It wipes out our soldiers. It wipes out the beneficial bacteria that keep our immune system functioning well. So it, it, there, we have a, we're a lot more vulnerable to bad bacteria today than we were 30 years ago. Let me, and we also, uh, I'm sorry, go ahead. No, 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 I just want, you know, you're such a splendid speaker. I could just listen to you forever, but I think people are saying, well, who is she, who is she, how do I get over this? I've got to take a minute for that. So this is... Well, I, am, I am so passionate about probiotics. <laughs> I, I think everybody should take a probiotic. But well, you got me convinced. Yeah, tell, tell them how to find me. But you can, you you got me convinced. That's not easy to do because I've been doing this a long time, and it's funny. I've never taken probiotics before I met you. So see, if for no other reason, you and I are attached at the hip. Okay, Nicole Crane. Uh, she's director of nutrition at Invite Vitamins, and actually, you're very lucky. You can hear. Nicole on Invite Health Radio every Thursday on WWNN, which is 1470 AM. Let me tell you a little bit about her. She has a Bachelor of Science in Nutrition from Florida International University and a Nutrition Therapy Practitioner Certificate from the Nutrition Therapy Institute in Denver. Her nutrition focus, her practice focuses on chemical-free living, with special attention towards naturally healing the GI tract to benefit the body as a whole. And you can hear that. Now, why don't you get on their website? You'll be floored by the website. It has so many things. And I give you that. That's invitehealth.com, invitehealth.com. But better yet, you ought to really go over to their store. And there's only one in Boca. And once you go in there, you won't believe it. It's almost like being in a fashion design store but it's for vitamins it's so beautiful so it's 2621 north federal highway in boca just write that down remember this is pencil talk radio 2621 north federal highway 
So, and, and you usually, uh, she is there most of the time, and she will give you this kind of time. All you have to say is, well, I have a little of this, or I'm not feeling that, or I have this. What do you think I should do? And she'll just take you right to the exact thing that you need. So you really are unusual, and I love talking to you. Oh, it's my pleasure to talk to you as well. And and it is. There's not a lot of people that that know supplements and know the body. It's my passion. And, of course, I'm a nutritionist. I want you to eat good, real food first, but... We don't culture foods the same way that we do, and a lot of people need a probiotic, and a lot of people don't have the option for organic food or don't appreciate organic food and, and the nutrient density that you find there, so a lot of people need a multivitamin, and a lot of people need magnesium because they're just not getting it in their diet, and it affects their stress responses. So there are so many places where our modern technology gives us what our modern lifestyle robs from us. And that's the other benefit of probiotics. If you think about how many cultured foods we used to eat, we used to eat good traditional yogurt. We used to eat lots of sourdough bread. We used to pickle everything. Uh, We used to eat lots of sauerkraut. And and we're just not eating fermented foods the way other cultures do and the way our grandparents did. So wait a minute. I have to ask you a question. So I happen to love sauerkraut, and you're telling me that sauerkraut is very good for you? Sauerkraut is a probiotic as long as it's not pasteurized. So if you're buying it refrigerated and it says live live active cultures or if you're making it yourself, sauerkraut is a probiotic. Mm -hmm. Yogurt is a probiotic. Pickles are probiotic as long as they're not pasteurized. When they're they're self-stable and and they don't need to be kept refrigerated, that's when they've killed off the live cultures. Yeah, but they have sauerkraut in a can and I hate to buy that. Is that all right? Right. No, I, I want you to be finding the one that's refrigerated, and I want you to find the one that says unpasteurized. Okay, I'm going to look for it. I'm going to look yeah. for it because I love it. Actually, you just made my day again. <laughs> well, <laughs> better off make your own. I mean, all I don't you know need how. is a little bit I, of... I don't know well, how. How? Tell me. Uh, it's, it's one of my... So you get a jar, and you, you get the big mason jar, and you get your big mallet out, and you, you chop up, and, and you... Um, you make uh, like you like you were to make uh, sour or um, coleslaw. You prepare the cabbage that way. You, you so you slice it really really thin. Or if you're lazy like me, you get out your food processor and you get out the attachment that that does it for you. And in about five seconds, you have a whole you know a whole pile of of uh, cabbage. And I prefer the red, but you can certainly do it with the green. And you get out your mallet and you you take all of your aggression out on this poor cabbage and you, you uh, pulverize it. So you, you don't want to really break it down, but you want to release some of those juices. Okay. And you put it in the jar and you add a pretty substantial amount of salt, probably about a tablespoon of salt and any, any spices and a little bit of vinegar and a little bit of water. And you leave an inch at the top of the jar and you leave it. I, I mean, it, my, my house is so cold because that's how my husband likes it. But I stick it in my boiler room so it, 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 it's a little bit warmer. And after a couple of days, you check it to see if it's the tanginess that you like. And, and uh, then you stick it in your fridge. And if it's not as tangy as you'd like it to be, leave it, you know, let it go another 24 hours. But it, it naturally will produce those, those live cultures on its own. I'm going to try. Now, you know, the, and I know I don't want to make you have work, but... You ought to probably be selling these kinds of products. You tell us about all, you know, all these good recipes, and you ought to have a little refrigerated um, place there that you can make them. No, you, you don't have time to make them. But but I learned a lot. I'm going to try it. Uh, of course, my husband's going yeah, to say... Send, I'll send you a recipe. Okay. I'll, I'll dig out my recipe, and I'll, I'll send you one. She's a it big... Is, it's, it's a lot of fun, especially if you've had a bad day. It's like, oh, I'm going to go make some sauerkraut and heal, you know, take care of my That's gut and take care of fabulous. my brain and take out my aggression. I think I'm going to... You know what I'm going to do, probably, because I like to do e-blasts for your organization. Maybe mm-hmm. we'll send the recipe as to get people interested first. So send the recipe <laughs> for me. I think I'll try it myself. Send the recipe, and we'll have some fun. Okay, if you've had a hard day or you've had things you're not happy with, I've got the perfect solution. Bang the heck out of cabbage and make delicious sauerkraut. <laughs> but there is the, the point is that there is a lot to be said about these traditional practices and the way that we used to treat our food and how different it is from the way that we're treating our food now. 
<laughs> so when I say chemical free living, I'm talking about getting away from the pesticides and getting away from the things that are pasteurized and, and getting away from the food dyes and all of the junk that we put in our food to give it more shelf life. If, if we were just to go back to some of the old ways and get a little closer to our fruits and vegetables and, and get away from the meat that has the antibiotics and the hormones, that's the foundation of good health. And then you fill in what you need. If you're not getting enough magnesium, you take a magnesium supplement. Oh, yeah, I'm taking that now. I bought magnesium. Yeah. You know I that. I love magnesium. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's another nutrient that we can't talk enough about. It, it's great for our, Actually, between probiotics and magnesium, you can build a lot of brain chemistry. And, but we also need the saturated fats. But magnesium is a, is a natural muscle relaxer. And it's so good for your it heart. It helps us relax. It's great for the heart because it's a natural blood vessel relaxer. So every time the heart muscle uh, beats, it's calcium that's contracting the heart muscle, and then it's magnesium that allows it to refill with blood and to relax. Great. So if you're not having that relaxation on the other end, and your blood vessels are really tight, you're going to have high blood pressure. The so magnesium goes a really long way to support healthy blood pressure, especially if it's that second number that's starting to creep up on you. Well, I'm certainly, I always love having Nicole, Nicole Crane on my show because I have a big smile on my face. I mean, she is not only beautiful uh, and knowledgeable, but she's got such spirit about all this. But let me tell you the biggest exciting thing about this whole thing. All Invite products, if you buy one, you get one free from all the way to July the 15th. And I'm going to repeat okay. that. Let me into, so it's just the tinctures, not all of the products, oh, okay. but just the liquid extracts, and there's six of them. So okay. Just those six. All right. Not all, unfortunately, not all of the products, but no, no I it's fine. get one free on the liquid extracts. Yeah, I'm glad that tinctures. you made that uh, that made, made that clear. All invite yes. products, buy one, get one free. Uh, and she just explained at the beginning of the show about the various tinctures. The astra- astralagus is very, very important. I actually have had. A lot of uh, information on that, and I was going to take the pills, but I think that would be wonderful for me because I do have a respiratory, you know, I have, I'm a, an asthmatic in certain terms, not all the time, but for certain reasons. And you said that that was very good for respiratory, I think you said, didn't you? It is, it is great for respiratory health. I definitely think of the astragalus for, and, and a couple other nutrients, black seed and NAC, but for people who get stressed out and that weakens their respiratory responses or they get stressed out and they catch a cold that goes right for their chest or there's somebody that deals with asthma or any sort of breathing issue. The astragalus really goes a long way to support our long-term immunity and activate the cells of the immune system that get rid of bad bacteria and viruses and, and things that don't belong in our lungs particularly. Remember, so remind great, me, great respiratory when I time. come in there, remind me, I'm going to get one. But before we go, I have another question. Since my doggie, whom I do- dearly love, as you know, is on is on your vitamins, but she's mm-hmm. now on an antibiotic, uh, you okay. know, maybe. What is the vitamin going to help her? There's nothing I can really give her that's man-made. Is it to help her? Uh, like I probiotics? Mean, I, <laughs> well, so I would suggest the probiotic, but... Uh, dogs actually have different strains of probiotics than humans do. So these specialized human strains that we put in our probiotic HX, I don't know how beneficial that it would be for a dog. So if I could get uh, her to for eat, young kids. if I could get I, her to eat sauerkraut, that would be good. But yeah, I a little sauerkraut. Uh, I mean, with with uh, the vet being on board, I would probably suggest a little bit of plain yogurt. Really? Mm-hmm. Okay. Just she likes she bit. likes that. Yes, yeah, she would. She mm-hmm. would eat some of that. Just a little spoon yeah. of it or something, right? Yeah, just a couple of spoonfuls, and that, that will replenish what the antibiotic has removed. Good. Or, I mean, I'm, I'm sure there's companies out there that specialize in doggy health, and, and remind me, and I'll give you a couple of them. And there are probiotics for dogs out there that specialize in, in the dog gut strains. But, uh, yeah, a little bit of yogurt will go a long way to restore that gut flora that the, the probiotic, or I'm sorry, that the antibiotic has removed. Because probiotic means, to support life, and antibiotic is against life. So the goal uh, is to wipe out the bad bacteria, uh, but the, the antibiotic wipes out everything. And then you start with a clean slate, and it's like having a mansion. Mm-hmm. If you leave a mansion, you know, unlocked for long enough, you're going to have vagrants that are going to want to occupy that that valuable real estate. 
But that valuable real estate is the nutrient-dense environment and the warm environment of your GI tract. So when you wipe it clean, if there's not good bacteria to defend its turf, the bad bacteria are going to take over. And it leads to a lot of issues with, with um, worsening infections and, and inflammation and a lot of immune disruption and certainly brain chemistry disruption and, and even weight. So probiotics really do, when, when we talk about somebody's weight and somebody having a set point, you lose 10 or 15 pounds and slowly you gain it back into the weight that your body likes to be. That's your set point. You can actually influence that set point of, of established weight with a probiotic. Mm. So, I mean, I don't, I don't want to go touting, you know, weight loss, but there, there is a really strong influence over the types of bacteria that we have in our GI tract and the weight that we have. I want to give everyone a phone number. I, of course, I'm going to give you the website again, but if you want to talk to the real Nicole Crane, uh, you would call her at three nine. Excuse me, five six one three six seven eighty six forty six. Now get your pencils out. Pencil Talk Radio. All this information. I hope you've been making notes. All about the sauerkraut and about the probiotics and about the tinctures. It's five six one six three six seven. 8646, and again, the website is invitehealth.com. And Nicole is as nice on the phone to you as she is on the radio. You know, many times, Nicole, there are people who are so so good on the radio, and then you go to see them, and they ignore you. And I've seen you sit with people for hours. Um, you really, it's love, wonderful for someone to have this kind of consultation at no expense because you're so passionate, because you have all the products that, will make them feel better. So we really Bye. do, we appreciate your being with us, Nicole. You always uh, oh, do a great you. job. And uh, and uh, I'm going to stop in, get, well, I have my probiotics. I'm going to get the astragalus um, tincture. That'll be my first time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it doesn't look good to me to keep this information to myself. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm blessed with a very good memory. And certainly, uh, you know, I'm very passionate about nutrition and good health and using what Mother Nature provides for us. Uh, but it is, it's, it's really important to, to get back to our roots and, and support those traditional ways that keep us, that have kept us healthy for millions of years. But I talked all about the tranquil tincture. I, um, so I'm on the radio on AM 1470 at 9 a.m. and 8 p.m. on Monday and Thursday. So if you want more information on the tranquil, you can listen at 8 p.m. on AM, four, 8 p.m. today on AM 1470, and you can hear me talk all about the tranquil. So you're on 8 p.m. and what time in the morning? Uh, 9 a.m. in the morning and okay. 8 p.m. at night, every Monday and every Thursday. Okay. And you can catch my Thursday show at, at noon on Saturday. And you can also go to Invite Health and click on our radio tab, and you'll find my name, Nicole Crane. And you can listen to um, my last week's show. So okay. You can always, it's a couple of days behind, but you can always catch my show at your leisure. Thank you, Nicole, so much, and I'll see you soon. I'm looking forward to it. Thanks so much for having me on. Yeah, thank you, Nicole. Bye.